Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. I can't actually remember what we were doing in the previous video, but I know what we need to do today. We need to go ahead and plant more trees. Honestly, we are running out of trees to actually put into the uh, sawmill, and I say running out, we've ran out. We also need to make more fields. I just want to go ahead and get some more. So, let's go and attach a tractor onto our plow, and yeah, get one plowed. Let's get straight to it. Alright, so we are going to need this tractor right here in order to do uh, anything, I suppose. So let's go ahead and attach on to this. And I need to figure out where we can even have a field. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure where I should put one. So, yeah. I think if I go over here to this side, we'll actually have a good time going up and down that bit of the field. But I don't really know. I haven't actually planted this one either, so maybe that's a bit weird. Should I make this longer? That could be kind of cool, actually. What if this field was huge in terms of its length? Yeah. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start back here and try and get that side of the field somewhat, like, matched up, I guess. Uh, and we're just going to go in a straight line this way, hoping for the best. Hopefully, we are going in a pretty much straight line. I don't really know. It looks like it's not really changing too much. So I'm okay with that, I guess? If we twist it a little bit to the right, that should be good. Yeah, look at this! This is awesome! I don't want to crash into any trees or anything like that, but... We're making this field a hell of a lot longer than it was, which is great. So, I guess we're going to be able to chop down this tree out here, and a few more of them as well, like that guy as well. And maybe one over here, I don't really know. Um, so yeah, we're just going to keep going in a straight line-ish. And then we'll turn around whenever we sort of feel like it, I guess? I don't know. When am I going to feel like turning around? I don't think I will. <laughs> we might just have to keep going. Am I going to hit that? No. Alright, that was close though. Alright, we're still going straight up the field. Oh, this is ridiculous. I've made this field so long. It's not going to be very wide though, is the thing. But I guess that's fine. Hang on, I think this tree right here is... Yeah, this tree is going to be in the way. Let's go ahead and chop this down and move it over here. There we go. Alright, that works. And we'll finish it off pretty much in line with this one. And then we'll turn around and we'll go back the other way and hopefully that'll all be good. So stop it around there. Lift it up. Let's turn around and drive back. We're going to have to move a bunch of trees out of the way, but that's fine. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do it from the other end because I'm not entirely sure um, how wide this needs to be. Yeah, so we're going to go all the way down. Whoa! Whoa! All right, we crashed a little bit there, but we're good. Uh, we're going to go all the way down to to there, and we'll drive straight back up the field this way. Seems like the best way of doing it, actually. All right, so I've lined it up somewhat. So let's go ahead and chop this guy down. There we go. And chuck this off to the side as well. There we go. That is more than enough out of the way. And let's drive. Yes. All right, cool. Uh, a lot of it is in that field, obviously, but... Hopefully we get a decent a decent go of this. I think we will. Um, we are going to have to chop down all of those trees in front of us. Like this one directly in front, probably the one to the left, and definitely the one in front of uh, the one in front of us as well. Uh, and that should be good. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to have to do the one on the left. Actually, we might be just out of the way of that. Anyway, let's go ahead and chop this guy down and move it away. I might have to go get in the Fiat real quick. What the balls? Um, maybe. I'm also... Whoop. I keep doing that. I accidentally go into third person. Uh, I need to go inwards a little bit more. Yeah, because I keep having issues. I wish that I could just do this, like, easily in terms of squaring it off, but... I can't. Maybe, like, with GPS. It looks like this thing has GPS, but... Not actually, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's go and chop this one down as well. There we go. Oh, there's another small tree there we need to chop down too. But chuck, chuck this off to the side. Oh, wow, look at how wobbly that is. Ugh. I'm going to have to go down the sides of this and try and sort that out, to be honest. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this one. We're going to have to remove the stump on this guy, unfortunately, so let's do that. Oh. I don't know where that little piece just went. I don't know if you guys seen where it went. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to go and chuck this one down as well, because I can. And let's chuck this to the side, too. See ya! 
All right, I'm gonna have to go get a different tractor now uh, with the wood towing thing, and we're gonna pull this one out of the way. You know what, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I have no idea where it is. I think it's over there inside our old barn. So we'll go try and find it, I guess. All right, let's just drive straight out of here. Let's go this way. We're actually completely fine driving across this field right now because there's nothing in it. Um, yeah, we do need money soon. Like, we actually do need some money soon. So I'm gonna have to try and sort that out. Anyway, open this up, there it is. Oh, I have the mower on the front. I didn't realize. All right, let's just drop that down there for now. And we will grab this thing from inside of here. This is actually a much bigger tractor than I than I thought of, ugh, sort of thought it was. Um, but that's okay. Also, it drives backwards quite quickly. Look at that. 14 mile an hour in reverse. Beautiful. However, 26 mile an hour in forwards, so yeah, it actually works a lot faster in forwards, um, which is great. I'm going to have to go get that tree from over there. I might actually drag these trees to our sawmill as well, because it needs to be working in order for us to get money. So I think I'll do that once this field is um, plowed. Beep, beep, I'm a sheep. I said beep, beep, I'm a sheep. All right, I'm going to have to grab this. Come on. Come here, you. Alright, attach it onto there. Sometimes it doesn't work and it's really annoying. I don't really know why either. There we go, we've attached it on. Excellent, and reverse. We're just gonna pull it in this direction. It'll be fine. Yeah! Oh, this tractor's more than powerful enough to pull this out of the way. Oh, is this a tiny one? <laughs> Wait, I think I've, I've picked up a tiny one by accident. Uh, Alright, disconnect that, please. That'd be great if you could just not be attached. All right, I was going to say, that was way too easy. It's this one we need. All right, we're connected on this time to a much bigger tree, and... Oh. I mean, it does feel a lot heavier, but... It also wasn't that hard to pull it out of the way either. Oh my, look at all the bumps in this field! Uh, hopefully we are still down. It is still down. Excellent. Um, yeah, this is kind of annoying. It is... They're very wobbly on the sides of this field. But hopefully in the end that will be A-OK. -okay. I just don't know whether that is true. I've no idea whether that's true, actually. I'm trying to keep it straight as I can, but it's just... It's not going to happen. Also, the amount of dips in this field is crazy. Look at this. They're going down a mountain right now. Alright, well, we're almost there. Uh, as soon as we reach the end of the field... We don't need to plow it anymore, so we'll just go ahead and take the plow back home. And that will be great. Alright, there we go. Excellent. Alright, fold it up. Let's go home. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn around real quick and attach onto that guy. We're then going to drag uh, this tree across the field and across our other field. Attach onto the other big tree over there and take both of which to the sawmill. Uh, which should end up being pretty great. So this is still attached to that, actually. Let's go! Yeah! I might even chop down this tree and take this with us as well. In fact, we might as well. Let's do that. There we go. We need as many trees as we can. So, we're going to take them all. Yeah! Alright. Let's chop that one down. We'll get rid of the uh, thingamabobby right here. The stump. And that piece. There we go. And we'll drive it over. Okay, we've got two trees on the back. And this thing is, I, I want to say, struggling a little bit. To be fair, there is a lot of weight back there, so maybe we just take two. Yeah, I think we probably do just take two. All right, well, straight to the sawmill we go. And then once we've done that, we'll come back out. We'll grab another two trees, I guess. We'll chop down that one right there. And we'll take that one and the other one that's on the floor as well. All right, we got the next two trees on the back. And I believe each of these trees uh, counts as about... 5,000 liters of wood, something like that, uh, which is an interesting way of measuring it. But yeah, we'll just go ahead and drive these over, we'll drop them off, and we'll get the production going again. And then I think we'll sleep through the night, because we want to be able to plant some more things, uh, especially in this field right here and the other field that we've just made. What did I just get stuck on? I'm getting stuck on something as we're crossing this road. That's really weird. All right, well, we've made it across. Have we? What is going on back there? Stop it. 
All right, we're good. We're good. All right, we're moving again. That was really weird. Push! Push! <laughs> Get the last little bit in there. There we go. We have delivered them. Excellent. 19,000 liters of wood, which means that we can actually start this production again, activate, and we can go to sleep. Oh, we're having the same problem with the chickens now, where they actually can only have two pallets. That's kind of ridiculous, actually. <laughs> the fact that they can only have two pallets is stupid, but there you go. Alright, so I guess that deletes the rest of them, maybe? Uh, I wouldn't mind actually selling some chickens as well, because obviously we are actually full now. But it doesn't really make sense, does it? I can sell 60 of these and we'll only get 400. Hey, you know what? Actually, it doesn't matter. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and sell another 60. There we go. Another 400. And then... 52. We're not selling those ones. Alright, you know what? That works. We got, we got a little bit of money out of that. Sure. Okay, so can we actually plant anything now? Cotton. All right, well, we don't want to plant cotton. Uh, the thing that we want to plant is actually either corn or sunflowers. I, I like the idea of planting sunflowers in maybe this field, but it just means having a different head on the harvester, doesn't it? That's not really what I want. All right, well, anyway, it's time to plant... Wait, what? Why is there two trees left in there? That's really weird. Uh, it's time to plant more trees. So I'm actually going to go ahead and plant them right here. We've got 10. Uh, I guess we've actually got 12, because there's two left in that thing. So I'm going to go ahead and plant all of these, and then I want to see what's in the shop, actually. That'd be great. All right, so what is for sale? Oh, there is a forklift. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, there is also a header for both sunflowers and corn. Oh, that's if I want to harvest corn as corn, though. And actually, I'm thinking we want to harvest it as, like, chaff, so we can put it in the silage clamp. I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. No idea. But, um, yeah, there's also this. There's a Vulture for sale, which is 43,000 and has less horsepower than pretty much anything I own. So we don't want that either. Oh, actually, one thing that I do want is a refueling station. Uh, currently, we have, like, no way of refueling. What is this? Electric charging station and a... Whoa, we don't need that, do we? Refuel your methane tractors. I don't think I've got a methane tractor, do I? I have no idea. Anyway, containers, fuel tanks, that's what we need. Wait, do I have to go buy fuel to bring it back here to then fill this up? I think I do, don't I? A tank used for on-farm storage and used to refuel. I think I need to go fill these up though, don't I? Oh, I don't have a tank for that though. Like, I don't have anything that'll do that for me. That kind of sucks. In fact, that kind of sucks a lot. I don't want to do that. I'm sleeping again. I don't even care. We are asleep. Yes. And what we're going to do once we wake up is we're going to start sowing one of the fields. I think the really long one. Although, I actually, no. Probably the really small one to begin with. I like the way corn grows. I don't know if that's really weird or not. Let me know. But um, I actually really like the way that it looks. So let's go ahead and jump into... This guy's got fuel since we restarted the game. So I'm going to move this into our shed. I'm actually going to go ahead and put it over here. For now. There we go. And that's okay. And I don't know what I'm doing now. This tractor right here is actually running out of fuel too, which is annoying. But um, let's go ahead and attach this onto this uh, sower, cedar, thingamabobby. We're going to change it so that it plants corn. Does it plant corn? <gasps> it doesn't plant corn! No! I think I might need a planter. Yeah, planter does corn. Ah, oh. Do I have any modded planters? I do. I've got this one. Uh, I don't know if I want to use that. We kind of need to, though, because I can't really afford any of the other ones. I could afford this, but that seems to suck. I actually... I, ca I can afford this. We're doing it. We're buying this thing. Ugh. Right, I'm going to have to go get it now. Uh, the other thing that I want to check as well, actually, is when do I sell clothes? Because if I sell clothes, like, now, that'd be great. May. We're in March. Ah, it's still too far away. But anyway, that means I now need to drive a tractor out there to go pick that up. So let's take this one. We'll actually fully refuel this, and that'll be great. Uh, I say fully refuel. I don't know if I'm going to have enough money to do that. Well, we'll see, though. Wait, actually, how do I fill this? I, I don't know how I fill this up here. Do I buy... Where do I buy diesel from? 
I didn't think about that before, but I actually don't know. I don't think there is anywhere. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay, so if I go to containers and I go to the modded ones, I could actually buy this that allows me to buy fuel. So we can pretend that there's a truck coming to drop the fuel off that we can then use. That makes a lot more sense anyway. Uh, oh, we could use this one. That's cool. It's only 2,000, but it's only to store it and not buy it. So that doesn't actually work. Okay. I guess for now, we're going to go ahead and go to pallets. I'm gonna go ahead and buy like two of these. Uh, oh, three of these. Oh, four of these. Oh, yeah, sure. D that many. Uh, and we're just gonna go ahead and refill this tractor for now. And that's it. So let's drive over here and start refueling. Think that's working? Yeah, it looks like it is. Cool. Okay, uh, that is not gonna be anywhere near enough fuel to actually fill this thing up, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and drive home. Um,. That was like $200. I guess that makes sense, uh, I, I guess. Uh, we do have seeds at home. We also have fertilizer at home, so this is going to be fine. Okay, so we made it home. Let's go ahead and start filling this with fertilizer first. I didn't realize, actually, that this would uh, have fertilizer, actually, but that's fine. So it's 83% full for now. Let's go to the next one. Oh, my. I've, 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 whoa. Blech. I don't know what's going on. Right, reverse this out of here, and we're going to go ahead and drive over to the other place now. I need to put all of that wool in Granny's house, too. Um, excuse me, coming through. Okay. It drives a bit weird with this thing on the back, but sure. Uh, we need to fill it with some seeds, and then we can actually go plant a field with, with something. I don't know. Corn, maybe? Fill it with seeds. Fill. Why is it not working? Phil! There we go. Uh, so we'll fill this uh, as much as we sort of can. And then we'll go ahead and get the field planted. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the big field. Oh wow, we don't have enough seeds. We don't even have enough seeds. Ugh. Alright, okay, turn around. I don't want to drive into that field because we'll annihilate it, but... This thing's articulated so it can turn around relatively quickly. Very nice. I'm going to have to move those eggs out of the way very soon, so we'll do that. And, yeah, that's all fine. We're doing great. We're doing great. Unfold the uh, cedar. Let's go. Oh, nice. And we're going to get ourselves to the field that we need to find, which is just over here somewhere. And then we'll get it going up and down, planting sunflowers. Yeah, we'll have a nice field of sunflowers, eh? Right, let's go ahead and start it around here. And hire a guy. Off you go, buddy! Is he gonna get the edge of the field? Looks like he might. <sighs> Very close. But he's only missing a little bit, so I'm okay with this. Alright, Granny's got like 30,000 liters of wool now, so she has definitely got a job to do. Uh, it is currently March, and we need to sell in May. So we got two more months until uh, we can sell Granny's stuff. Also, materials are missing in here, so we need to deactivate this. Yes. Oh yeah, look at him go! That is awesome! So hopefully he does get to the end of the, uh, the field here with this. I think he will. Obviously it's a little bit annoying that this bit's not doing what it should, but that's okay at the same time. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to take a look at was actually headers for corn. Um, obviously this is corn headers, but this is to harvest it as corn. Um, I don't know whether we can... Can we chop up? Yeah, we can. Uh, so we can actually use this type of header uh, for sunflower seeds too. Yeah, we totally can. So that should be good. We'll probably end up buying something like this one. Because um, then we could do corn and we could do sunflowers with it, which makes a lot of sense. Oh, we could even use one of these. This is towed behind a tractor. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I like that. Okay, so he's sort of finished the field, although there is a little, like, there's some gaps down the sides. I I'm going to go with the fact that that's, that's probably fine uh, for now. So let's go ahead and fold this thing up on the back, and we will go ahead and, I don't know, figure something else out. 
All right, let's go ahead and open up the gates. There we go. And we're going to drive inside. Yes. Look at this. This is awesome. Uh, we've got so much room now for activities and stuff. It's great. Uh, not that I really need to do anything right here. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to close the gate. And there we go. Beautiful. All right, so I decided that we need to fertilize the fields as well. So we're going to go ahead and send this guy up there. That is going to hit. Um, yeah, there's not really too much else I actually want to do today, though. So let's get that guy going up and down this field. We'll get the guy going up and down this field as well. Make sure both of them are fertilized. At least a lot anyway. And that'll be great. All right, so he's done the first field. He's now going to do the second field. Hopefully has no field found. Are you serious? You're in a field. No field found? He's literally in the field. Alright, whatever. That guy is going to go ahead and get that one done as well. We are going to have to do the grass fields as well as those, because uh, that's, that's just a thing. Um, yeah. Alright, not too bad whatsoever, I guess. This is one of those days where I'm feeling like a little bit unmotivated to actually do anything. I know that sounds really weird, but it's so true. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I need to set out a plan and then figure out what that plan is, and then do the plan. You know, that's that's what I need to do. So, I guess I'll do that very soon. <laughs> we'll try and sort things out. I just want things to be nicer. Um, I might actually move the sawmill over here somewhere. I just think it would fit in quite nicely over here. Uh, but I would want it in a different orientation, I think. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We, uh, we made that field bigger, we planted more stuff, we bought a cedar for it. I don't know what this guy's doing. I've actually got no idea what this guy's doing. Um, in the next video, we're actually going to be selling our clothes. We're, like, over there. We're going to buy some more things, and we're probably going to do some more grass cutting, because we need to do that. I also want more fields, so as soon as we get enough money to buy more fields, we'll totally do that too. I think that would be a great idea. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and get this guy going up and down this field. It'll probably only take him two runs, so off you go! See ya! Um, and yeah, for now, sorry this guy, this, this video was short, guys, but I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully the next one will be a little bit better. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, see you next time, goodbye.